The off-season work is done. Now it's time to go racing. First, the truck and trailer need to get serviced at Western Peterbilt. Western Peterbilt is a full-service solution provider for its customers throughout the life cycle of a commercial vehicle, with locations in Alaska, Washington, Oregon, and California. The technicians do a complete service and updates to make sure we get where we are going on time. Then it's time to get the boat on the trailer and head out. A combination of powered lift and manual lift raise the boat up and the trailer is driven underneath. Pull the boat out of the workshop carefully, hook up the truck and get on the road. The first race of the 2016 season is the Madison Regatta in Madison, Indiana. Well, we showed up in Madison there with a lot of untried uh, parts, equipment. Prepared uh, based off of a lot of information we had from last year, uh, and right off the get-go, we could tell it was a completely different boat. Uh, one of the things we noticed, uh, it liked to carry the left sponson quite a bit higher than uh, in the past. So we decided, after two runs like that, uh, with Tom getting more comfortable, that it was a little bit uncomfortable for us, and we wanted to tame that left side down just a little bit. So we went back to. Uh, the bull nose shape that we ran last year. Uh, it's not to say that the bull nose that we, the new new set we built, isn't going to work. Uh, but on that race course with the really long straightaways, uh, it, it, the boat was showing some characteristics that I really didn't care for. On Saturday, Heat 1B saw Tom Thompson and the Peters and May get a good start in lane two and battle the U21 with Brian Perkins for second place. They passed each other numerous times during the heat. Coming out of the last turn, Tom hit a hole and hooked the boat, but was able to keep it going to get third place. Sunday saw heavy rains move in, but the crowd stayed to watch the action. Lee Langley and Dave Hulley entertained the crowd with a little dancing in the rain. The team tries to keep Tom dry in the cockpit for heat 2B. Tom has another nice heat get on the boat faster each time. Tom comes in third place behind the U1 and the U5 race teams. The Peters and May is ready for heat 3. Tom gets a good start but loses the prop in the first turn. You know, it's something losing the prop is something that you never can plan for. Uh, we do a good job in doing a Magnaflux after every run. Uh, and Saturday night, uh, all the prop shafts were checked for cracks and there was, there was no indications whatsoever. The propellers are checked, um, but we also do that in between every run. And so when that happened in, in the third set of heats, uh, it was a bit of a shock to us. The Peters and May made the final as a trailer boat based on points earned in qualifying and heat racing. Losing the prop ended any chance of getting on the front row. It gets a little dicey heading into the first turn. After that, the boat ran really well. The challenging race course with the very, very long straightaways uh, and the tight corners. I thought uh, Tom, our driver, did a, a superb job. Uh, making nice starts and feeling the boat out and we tested a lot of different scenarios and a lot of different setups uh, and, and we're going to go to the next race and we're going to do a lot more testing obviously in an attempt to get better and better and better. Um, I, I would say the weekend was a success, uh, a fifth place finish, we should have probably had a fourth place finish um, but we'll, we'll accept that and move forward. Um, the boat came back in reasonably good shape where we could do some more tweaking and tuning and make some adjustments. The boat is home now and getting ready for the Hapo Columbia Cup. Watch for the next episode.